It was an absolute winning weekend for Malcolm D. Lee's long-awaited sequel, Best Man Holiday, starring all matters of dark mocha and rich milk chocolate, Mars Chestnut, Tay Diggs, Terrence Howard, and Harold Perrineau, each match with a beautiful woman for a nice holiday themed film coming in just eight million dollars short of thor the movie grossed a weekend take of more than 30 million dollars could best man holiday have grossed more some are asking if it wasn't for hollywood's short memory of century old top box office numbers garnered by black movies hashtag media apartheid now dryer buzz readers friends and followers are very familiar with media apartheid is the hashtag we drop when news outlets are overzealous in their social media using out of place race terms and tweets such was the case during a critical sunday movie wrap up at the box office when usa today published a breaking news headline alerting their readers with the following holiday nearly beats thor as race themed film soars pump your brakes slow your roll to those attracted by numbers cause they like to see top grossing movies usa today felt they needed to let folks know this one could be a little dark dark as in black race themed uh excuse me it's a holiday themed movie well black twitter quickly tweeted USA Today into submission. The headlines and tweets were altered, but not before America recognized how deep media outlets are into hashtag media apartheid. Now, contrary to USA Today, Box Office Mojo tweeted, Best Man Holiday received a rare A-plus cinema score from audiences. Go see Best Man Holiday. In fact, see it with Dryer Buzz this week for a nice date night. Catch me on Facebook. Now, speaking of upsetting an audience, well, it should have, or maybe not. You know, we're talking about R. Kelly. He's apparently playing with somebody else's daughter or son. We can't tell, but the image is very, very youthful looking. Artwork trended over the weekend of what is allegedly cover art of R. Kelly's latest music inspiration. In the image, a masked R. Kelly sits as if playing a cello except the cello happens to be an androgynous youthful figure while tongues were wagging r kelly began trending when he performed with lady gaga on saturday night live now we all know a successful music performance brings about redemption of all matters cray cray now his music is great Fans and opponents uh, can't seem to decide where to draw the line. We've not yet seen a dance floor empty when an R. Kelly song is played. But uh, to parents, hide your kids. And now when I say hide your kids, I mean hide your kids. It is the holidays. For parents wanting peaceful shopping, leave your kids at home. Do not send them off to roam the toy sections. Now here's a PSA from a mom who has raised four and chased perverts out of the toy section. Seriously, stop letting your kids roam the toy sections alone perverts taking advantage of your children they don't cut checks like music geniuses and reality stars okay allegedly holiday trauma scars kids for life you should see what happens in these stores over the holidays in fact just google watch it on youtube it's full of surveillance videos protect your children everybody ain't santa be careful be safe enjoy hey we're counting down the new year with hashtag shop talk buzz the tour stops all around the city thanks to everyone who came out to nikisa's beautiful loft salon oh my god the conversation was buzzing next stop is details barber and beauty bar in historic west end on december the first and so market calendars now that's your entertainment report with the tony and griff show with michael mcfadden i'm yolanda with an A, Lattimore, with the buzz from dryerbuzz.com. Hashtag gone blogging.